Hi everybody, welcome back to Sibelius 7 lessons here at educator.com. Entering notes. In this chapter we will learn a few different ways to enter the notes in Sibelius 7 application. We will cover how to enter notes, rests and a few articulations by mouse as well we will go ahead and learn how to enter them by our computers keyboard too. At this point uh, a numeric keypad uh, is becoming again important just like uh, if you are also using another Avid technology uh, music uh, workstation Pro Tools it's got a lot of uh, keyboard shortcut which I did uh, Pro Tools lessons here at educator.com too. We were highly talking about the uh, numeric keypad shortcuts there were a lot so at this point in the end of this lesson you will see when we start entering notes by the numeric keypad how keypad how important it is this function it is very important it's um, if you don't have the numeric extension of the keyboard uh, you can also get as an extension with the USB so you will include that to your keyboard or just get one uh, external keyboard basically it's in an addition with the numeric keyboard um, first thing we will talk about is entering notes by the mouse we need to first bring our keypad on the screen and move in a comfortable location to leave it there that it won't be in our way although in an occasion we may want to uh, constantly change where the keypad that's going to stand on the screen so one easy way to bring the keypad on the screen is command option K and same um, shortcut will toggle on and off the keypad if you are on a PC it's going to be control alt K and uh, then once we have our keypad uh, we can move it around also if you are under the view tab you can go and get the keypad there too it's checked so I unchecked it so you can recheck it and you can bring it there are a couple of different ways to bring it up and I believe we covered that earlier in another chapter when we talked about the ribbon uh, so we're going to bring the keypad let's say on the second bar here that's because if it's so far I would always have to load the mouse then bring it so if you want to keep that distance shorter you can bring somewhere like around there I'm going to go on the keypad as you see there is uh, values accidentals rest um, keypad really designed for the numeric keypad it looks like one uh, but we're going to talk about those details when we start entering the notes with the with the keyboard uh, just like in this lesson actually let's go and choose a note here I just choose uh, a value from the keypad and then that how that's gonna turn into a note I would bring it over here somewhere where am I going to enter the note? If this is going to be the first note, I go slightly close to the uh, time signature. And then as you can see, my mouse is loaded with the note this time. And I can just like enter a G here. Well, I have one accidental here is F sharp. This could be G major or E minor as a tonality uh, or some sort of mode <laughs> um, like C Lydian. Um, but it's got one sharp at that point so I want to enter another note so if I want to enter another half note here I should really go over this note and I explain the reason in a second why and if I want to put this a little before for instance right here it would already change my the my first note and the reason to that is because I'm entering this before its value a little bit so automatically that's Sibelius way to tell me that your first note cannot uh, sustain that long then and how this happens at that point uh, 
it's something related to uh, snap positions that I would like to cover right uh, right now, right away. Um, it's